zero iPhone my stereo M well guys I hope everyone's doing okay I haven't done a recording for I don't know a while now a week or something which is like really mad <laughs> I uh, keep on starting up with recordings and then I have to stop them and delete them because um, I start up a recording and then um, some people start talking to me and then I'm like, oh crap, I didn't want that in the recording. Unless, like, if I'm already out. If I'm already out, then yeah. Um... And sometimes if I'm going to do a recording when we're out, I like to ask people, oh, don't use names because I'm recording. Because then people know that... Then people know that, um... <coughs> people know that I'm recording and don't use their name then basically is what happens just putting my hair up now pause stop pause up. minus 20 pause well minus 90 that's done with me teeth um i don't need to really show everything with well I mean it's not viewable by vision but anyway I don't need everyone to hear audio soundscapes of the same bloody routines every day of the week I put the long sleeves on today oh, fucking long sleeves Now that my face feels an awful lot better today, I actually feel like taking selfies. I absolutely don't need any Panadol today. I took two of them yesterday over, you know, six hours for one tablet each time. So I made one tablet last for six hours and took another one. So I'm doing a right today. But, um... Yeah, now that I feel a lot better and my prosthetic eye is working properly, I would seriously like to take a few selfies, a few selfies, and uh, bloody um. So yeah, I'd like to take selfies of my face today and put them up on Twitter because I um, feel heaps better with my new prosthetic eye, which I got in on Friday, and it feels a lot better than the other one that I had, and it makes my face feel more open, like it's been made properly, so it fits my eye socket and configures my face properly, it's not disfigured anymore. It's like, oh, I can take photos. I can take bloody photos of myself. 
because I don't look horrible and ugly. I don't want to sound like a typical looks is everything and life isn't a life if you look ugly because some people do look ugly but what I'm trying to say is I didn't want to take photos of myself when my eye looked really dodgy. <laughs> I didn't want to have a dodgy eye in the photo and now that this eye isn't dodgy anymore and it's been made properly and it feels, it doesn't feel really, really horrible. It just feels really nice. So like I don't need Panadol anymore like I did yesterday and I don't feel really, I don't feel sick as in. You know when your body's trying to get used to something, you just feel crook and you feel crappy and you don't feel well. So then you're like, oh, I never take any Panadol because I'm never sick. Or if I am sick, I don't think I'm ever sick enough to need Panadol. <coughs> so when you feel crappy and just done well and you're like, yeah, I know I need Panadol this time. That's when you know something's not right. So you take the Panadol and you think, oh my God, I just feel sick anyway. Whether I'm on Panadol or I'm not on Panadol, I feel crook. So I just took it and just lay around all day just resting because I thought Panadol doesn't help me, you know, function any better. So if I take Panadol, I don't feel better about wanting to get up and run around. I still feel sick anyway. Um, like Panadol doesn't relieve, it relieves fever and it relieves pain to a point, but it doesn't, if I don't feel very well, it doesn't stop that. Like if I feel like crap before I take the Panadol, when it kicks in, I feel less pain, but I still feel like crap, like I don't feel better. So it's like pointless taking Panadol but I know I have to stop suffering from whatever pain I'm suffering from. So it's like I take the Panadol knowing that I'll be able to rest a lot more. Because of less eye pain, I can like relax better and just rest. But because I still feel like just shit in general, don't feel well, I... Um, I just lie around knowing that Panadol is fixing something but it's not helping me feel better in general. It just sort of helps with pain but not actually feeling better. So I just took two of them knowing that I wasn't going to feel any better. So I took two of them um, over a, you know, six hour period for one tablet and then six hours for the next tablet. So that's what I did. And I felt kind of a little bit better last night, but I was tired so I went to sleep, but I felt a little bit better. And I was able to eat a sandwich and some Boston bun and I was able to have hot chocolate, so I was reasonably okay. So, yeah, I then woke up and thought, oh, I'm much better today, I don't need any pain at all, and uh, my eye feels a lot better, I'll be able to take selfies. I'll be able to take selfies. That'll be amazing. Selfies, yeah. I'd love to take selfies. Put them up on Twitter. I might even see if I can add a photo to my um, recordings. That'll be amazing. Don't know if it'll work, but I will try something. I will try something.
I'm just so glad that my face feels better today. I mean, yesterday my face was hurting and I felt absolutely horrible. I just felt really horrible. good system for doing the dishes. Really good system. Oh, I can't decide between bloody toast and cereal today. Um, yeah, I'm always eating cereal, but then I love cereal and I like toast. and I like toast so I don't know what I want oh I do not know I don't know maybe I might just have toast maybe I might just have toast maybe I should have Nutella on toast today oh I don't know what I want on toast actually I really don't really do not have a clue what I want on toast.
kettle was breaking down, I think. Bloody thing. I don't know. I don't know what I want today. I know I want a massive cup of coffee. I can't get it down to the cup Couple of peppermint tea after that. I don't know. I'll think about it. And later on, I might just have a large hot chocolate because I think they're yummy. Yeah. I think they're absolutely fantastic. There's coffee on the back of the bloody spoon, which is going to contaminate the sugar. All right, yuck. thing of chocolate milk as well mm. or strawberry milk there is now but <sighs> or orange juice I can't decide I might just drink all the bloody shit might just drink it all who knows I might just go and drink everything Okay.
it has to beep until I've cleaned it all off. Bloody stupid thing. Oh god, now I have to clean my dirty, disgusting table. Perhaps, oh, oh yuck. Bloody rotten mess. Absolutely disgusting. Oh yuck. Oh yuck. Oh, oh yuck. And because I want to sit down outside today, I also have to clean my disgusting table. And I haven't even made breakfast yet, I've just made a coffee. I'm glad that I've only got the smallest, dullest headache though. I don't have a horrible headache today, which is really nice to know, which means everything that's happening does improve and go away, which is basically stress from medical stuff or viruses. So now I know I'm not even gonna not even gonna worry about this or that. Not gonna happen. All nice and sunny outside all the oh. Yeah, well, I love the smell of coffee and I feel even though I haven't had coffee until now I feel a lot more awake today than I did yesterday so yeah that sort of tells you something that I wasn't bloody well yesterday I reckon I was cooked at any weight I feel it right now so yesterday is not happening today so I'm all right I reckon I'm fine. Let's clean up over here. I can't. Twitter, now. Stacy replied. Is it a software issue? Notification. Speech I off. I can't have a dirty, yum, bloody thing. Dirty, yum, bench. Especially when I'm thinking that I'm going to have a drag along feed today. A drag along feed. Oh. I don't know why some people don't read my tweets properly. Like, hello, I said it was a software issue. God. Mmm. Yum. I made it properly today. Yum. Nice and sunny today. Very lovely. Oh, yes. Very nice. I can't decide on whether I'll have toast or cereal or just bread or, or something today. I don't know what I actually want. Anyway. Minus pause. Minus sorry seven. Sorry about that. I'll pause the recording. I was trying to say I will be back in a minute when I've done this tweet. WhatsApp, Twitter, one new item. Twitter, account menu, notifications tab, notifications tab, Stace, mention, Stace, reply. Tweet your reply, Braille screen input, orientation locked, landscape, dot six. Cabo, B, V, R, O, U, L, L, S, R, S, R, S, R, S, R, S, R, S, R, R, U, L, D, N, A, S, R, R, V, E, S, R, R, I, D, S, R, 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 S, R, R, S, R, 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 D, full stop. Portrait. Cancel. Reply. Button. Reply. Twitter notification. Stacy. Mention. Stacy. Reply. Tweet. Tweet your reply. Lines. Speaking. Braille screen input. 
Orientation locked. Landscape. Tabletop mode. Six dot six. Kevis I R I space Recorder HQ. Settings. Pause. Stop. Pause. Minus. Pause. Button. Oh, I thought I'd, I thought I'd pause the recording. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I um, was meant to pause the recording and I said I'd be back and the recording did not pause. That's weird how it does that. It's very weird. That's Twitter. Now. Weird. Stacey tweeted. Yay. I got imagination. Twitter.com. Slash Seanmans underscore slash S. Off. I don't need Recorder HQ to keep hearing every single tweet that goes out there. Jesus. <laughs> something's biting me out here or what, I don't know. I don't know what's going on out here. Uh, need to buy a fucking ant bait and put it out here. But if... Oh, I can't use names on this recording. If, um someone lets their child out here the child may take the ant bait and try to eat it so children and ant baits don't mix so i don't think i can have ant baits out here in case somebody's child comes out to play because the first thing they'll do is find something looking round and what's that yummy smell must give it a taste and then straight in hospital they go whoops and I will be the one getting into trouble for it so I won't be putting any ant baits out here even if the place is plagued with ants because of the ant plagues going on I keep forgetting to buy the fucking stuff in the first place to put it around my unit Minus pause. Minus iPhone microphone. And I bumped my stupid phone, so of course it paused on me. Damn it. Bloody stupid phone. Fuck. And I feel like finding that... I don't know where it is. Like, I know it's on the app store, but I want to, um... <clears throat> I want to bloody um, find that selfie, talking selfie app and take selfies to put on Twitter because I reckon my face feels good enough to do it. Have a listen to those lovely little birds. Oh, bloody sun's getting at the screen. Have a listen to the lovely little birds. Oh, the train's interrupting. Hang on. You can't. The train's interrupting. Oh, 
fuck off. Okay, you can hear that noise is a sweet little bird that I want you to hear because it sounds so beautiful. There's a couple of other birds in the background. But listen to that tweet, 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 tweet noise. That one. That one. There's a few birds doing that same tweet, tweet, tweet noise. It sounds so cute. Lovely little bird noise, isn't it? Very lovely. You can hear all the other noises in the world. The dog making noise, hustling, uh, rustling in the bushes in the backyard and the birds making noise. Lovely birds today, lovely. <clears throat> to start waking up normally tomorrow so I've got to go to bed early tonight and I like to spend Fridays and Saturday nights up late and asleep late but if I know I have to go somewhere on the weekend I'm gonna to have to go to sleep early that night so I can wake up in the morning and when I sign up to hire up which is H-I-R-E-U-P when I sign up to that properly, which I can't because voiceover doesn't let me, but when I sign up properly, um, I will be able to organise weekend outings. I can't wait to do that. I'm going to be talking to one of my neighbours soon. I'm going to be making us tea and orange juice and all this stuff. So yeah. Uh, yeah. That'll be good. Don't know why um Jono goes from talk 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 to he just pretends I don't exist. I'm not one of his friends. But then, next thing I know, oh, I have to be your friend, I've got to talk to you. It's like, but you weren't my friend yesterday and you weren't interested in getting back to me. You just treated me like I wasn't even, I was just a stranger. Uh, I'm going to have a word with that bloke because he's just stupid about everything very stupid about things and he goes to church I mean church doesn't do anything for anyone all it does is teach people how to be bloody pedophiles that's all it does I'm not a pedophile so I don't go to church to belong to live with the pedophiles I won't allow if I have a baby by accident or in, it, intentionally I don't know and I don't care either I don't give a shit what happens so long as I'm comfortable <laughs> 
<coughs> okay, so the baby will not be growing up to go to boarding school. Fuck off, I won't let that happen to my children. Even if the parents who send their children to boarding school, they don't want their kids to be abused, they just want their kids to be educated so the parents can go to work, and that's great. But I don't trust the people who work at the boarding schools to look after the kids, even if the kids are meant to be trusted into the hands of other staff or entrusted into, you know, staff hands. The parents aren't doing anything wrong by going, hey, I'm going to send the kid to school. If the kid gets abused, oh, well, you know, that's not what anyone agrees with. That's not what anyone wants. But the fact is it happens because people deliberately try hard with lovely intentions to get their kids educated. It is lovely to want your kids to be educated somewhere where you can feel safe that they're taken care of while you're at home and going to work and you can't deal with kids and work so you put them in boarding school. That is lovely. But then the staff take advantage of that, or at least one or two staff members would take advantage of that and harm the children, which is, like, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Like, I can't believe people can do that. Work at a fucking boarding school and then go, oh, yes, these children aren't supervised by their parents anymore. Other staff supervise the parents, they don't know what I'm like, I'll just get away with hurting these kids and nobody's going to notice. And the parents don't check on the kids, oh, they won't notice either. And even if the parents do check, the kids aren't going to say anything. Okay, maybe the parents will, will, you know, talk to the kids periodically to see that they're okay, but hey, the kids won't tell them what I'm doing, won't tell the parents what I'm doing to them, I'll just get away unnoticed. Like, are you serious? Like, is this what people actually do now? I mean, I know not everyone's like that, but you send someone off to an educational institution and someone is going to be doing something bad. Someone is going to be getting away with doing the wrong thing. And the people that don't abuse the kids, they obviously will sit somewhere on purpose where they can watch the students have a good time and they're close enough to the kids to help them but not enough to be personal because they're just a staff member looking after the kids they're not to be personal just look after them and um, the kids know that but some people get too personal like ooh that's just terrible So as much as as it is well-intentioned to take the kids to a boarding school, I won't be doing it because I don't trust the (laughs) kindness of other people, I will say. I do not trust other people. I don't feel that people are as trustworthy as they seem. And as much as I believe that boarding school is a great idea because then I'd go home, the kids would be looked after and I'd be peaceful. That wouldn't make me feel secure that the people who I've sent off to school are trusted, are entrusted into the right hands. I'd be at home thinking, yeah, I'm at peace, I can go to bed without screaming kids calling out to me. But then I'd be like, oh my God, I hope that my kids are being looked after so I won't be dealing with any of that shit but at the same time I don't plan on having any kids and if I did have a kid I'd I wouldn't be looking after the baby wouldn't do it I just would not do it I would absolutely not look after a baby what I do is what the people in Alice Springs do when they give birth to children and they have a baby that they never intended to have they just got pregnant because of rape or incest you know and rape um because some people take advantage of the 
teenagers. The 16-year-olds are considered mature enough to have a baby, so without their consent, they're forced to get pregnant in their culture. Um, so what they do, if they really don't want that baby, they give birth and in the hospital, of course, because they're made to go to the hospital, they're forced there and if they hide, someone gets the police onto them and all this stuff happens, you know. Um, and people are taken off to hospital. Now, when the baby is given birth to, instead of looking after the child like a loving mother would, the 16 or 17 year old by then, sometimes 16 year old, they could even be 15. So on average between 15 to 17 year olds, possibly older or younger, will say, no, this is not my baby. I gave birth to someone that isn't my baby. And that's it. There's nobody who can talk them into being convinced that this is their child. No one can convince them of otherwise. And so the baby becomes an orphan at birth because if you try to convince the lady that this is your baby, you need to take your baby home, the lady will just say, no, this is not my child. Um, I give, gave birth to this baby, but he or she is still not my child. And if a psychiatrist or someone says, but if you give birth, it is usually your child, except if you are, you know under contract to give birth to a child for someone else then if you give birth this is your child and all the lady has to say is I may have given birth but I do not own this child and then the psychiatrist or other midwife or doctor whoever they need at the time can say well this is your child but you're um, making it legally binding that this is not your child are you sure this is how you want it to be because once the child's taken you won't get him or her back without going to court most people will probably say fair enough and some people will go to court later to get their child back but most of the time people are like yes the child is taken away for adoption and legally signed over to the state so that the mum doesn't own the baby and they're no longer they're the biological mother but they're not officially the baby's mother they're just officially the birth mother but they're not officially the child's guardian anymore so <coughs> that's the end of their pregnancy and their motherhood <laughs> that's what happens and the people that do decide to get them back, they probably had psychiatric problems to start with and thought, no, I don't want kids, no, I don't want kids. Then they went, no, I do like my baby, I do love my child. I was angry when I gave birth, but now a week later I'm recovered and I feel better and I want my child, I want my baby back. And other psychiatric problems like depression that makes you want to get rid of your baby, but once that goes away... Um, you want your baby back but you want support to keep your baby you want psychiatric support to keep the child some people do that too other people are like fuck off I'm not having this baby I don't care I'm legally signing myself away I'm not this baby's guardian I'm not going to court to get the child back and if they don't have psychiatric problems, it's like, okay, I don't want this bloody child. Get rid of him or her. I never wanted the baby. And if there is psychiatric problems, they'll say, oh, I have a psychiatric issue, so I can't look after the baby when I'm struggling to look after myself. Otherwise, I'd keep the baby. I'm not having him back, him or her back. And I need psychiatric support myself. Why would I want a child to be part of that? And the child's gone as well, and or gets taken away and the mother who's no longer the mother is like well I have my own psychiatric problems to deal with and my own life to deal with I don't want to deal with somebody else's life and look after myself I can't do it 
and other people are like, I never wanted a bloody stupid child. This is how they think, you know. I don't want a child. So then they just don't look after it. And I'm one of those people who don't want a child because I have my own life to look after and a baby would just take away my time for myself and the baby would take away commitments to my own life. I'd have to change to revolve around that baby and my life does not revolve around kids. My life doesn't revolve revolve around animals. It revolves around me and that's it. I don't mind having friends, but I don't want to look after other people or other animals. I am not someone's mother and I'm not here to make everyone else feel comfortable you know by waiting on them and looking after them and you know people need to learn to look after themselves and if they can't look after themselves they need a medical professional to look after them because I'm not anybody's surrogate foster mum or anything like that it just doesn't happen not in my life I'll be happy to share my friendship with people but when it comes down to committing to looking after someone the boundary closes there and I'll keep the friendship if people don't cross my boundaries but if if I put a limit on my friendship and people continue to disrespect me by taking advantage of me and getting me to look after them you know make coffee not just make coffee but I mean like literally looking after them then um then I've got to stop the friendship because I'm not friends with people so that they can be I can be their nurse or their counsellor I'm friends with people to be a friend I'm not a nurse I'm not a counsellor I limit my friendship to not counselling people and not nursing people I mean if it was an emergency I would but not if it's just people, you know, wanting advice. It's like, I don't do counselling advice. <clears throat> and um, I've also got the attitude that a qualified person doesn't make their advice better than if they weren't qualified. It just means that they've learnt at school what they need to know to advise people and then they get qualifications, but that doesn't make them any better as a person they're still a human being at the end of the day so so yeah I I just treat people if you know they treat me nice I'm gonna end up in a nice friendship with them if they don't then yeah anyway I'm about to tease someone who doesn't know what a friendship is let alone what it is to be friends with people I'm about to tease the shit out of them um so yeah, I will be back soon.